like to grow two kinds of parsley in my garden, this flat leaf Italian parsley and the curly Hamburg parsley, which actually has a milder flavour. I haven't got my tomatoes quite ready, they'll be ready in about another month, but my dad used to grow the best tomatoes. If you've ever been to Spain, you'll know that the fedua is one of the most delicious dishes to enjoy there. So essentially it's a dish like a paella, but it's much, much quicker to make. I'm going to put some smoked paprika, garlic, chilli is a fantastic spice, it actually sets your adrenaline running. Okay, this is angel hair pasta, it's really fine and you can just crunch it up like that. Just stir that around because you want to lightly toast the noodles. Then we're going to add some Sauvignon Blanc, some stock, chicken or fish, and then a magical ingredient, saffron. It comes from the crocus plant, and you only get three of these pistols per flower. And you always need to add saffron to a liquid to allow it to release its colour. Now you can use any kind of seafood you like, but if you're using something like a mussel or any other shellfish, make sure that you bury that base bit into the liquid because that is where it's going to release its hinge and cook from. I've got mussels, cockles, prawns and fresh fish. Don't go shy on the seasoning here because you've got a lot of food in there and the noodles like pasta or potatoes are going to absorb a lot of salt. In about 10 minutes it's going to be ready and I've got a fantastic salad that I'm going to serve with it. Just rocket blue cheese almonds and a nice little vinaigrette. Slices of blue cheese, oh my gosh how divine. I prefer to use a crispy pear here rather than a really soft melting one so that I get that texture. Just to finish it, some parsley, some roasted peppers. I always put lemon juice over seafood and I use my hands as a little sieve here so that the pips don't go in. Well, I think this has to be my favourite thing to do on a Sunday for lunch. So welcome and bon appetit, enjoy the fedua. What nicer wine to serve with it than a delicious Pinot Gris. You'll find the recipe for Fedua on page 158 of Eat Fresh.